Right guys, today we're looking at how you get Salamantha scales. This is something that's used by level workers and they're going to need it to craft profession equipment, level working crafted PvP gear and some of the high end epic gear that will be in demand. Salamantha scales do not have a quality level like most crafting regions in Dragonfly, so you don't need to worry about quality. Once you have one, you have the best possible Salamantha scales available. Where are we getting this stuff from then? Salamantha Scales is a skinning farm and we are aiming to farm and skin salty salamanders. You do not need anything special to unlock with skinning to get these, but of course the higher your skinning skill, the more likely you are to get what you need and it takes very little time to level it up to so make sure you max out that skinning skill before doing this farm. The best place I've farmed to found these has been the far northeast of Waking Shores, as you saw on the map. There could potentially be other locations, but at the time of recording, there is literally zero data on Wowhead, so this is just what I was able to find on the beta. The salty salamander mobs are reasonably weak. With a fresh level 70 hunter, I was able to solo four or five of them at a time, which can be difficult with some of the other mobs I was skinning in Dragonfly. For other classes, this may be more of a challenge and take a little bit more effort, especially right at the start of the expansion. The other benefit of this farm is that the mobs are generally nicely all grouped together in pack sizes that are perfect to AoE down, so you're not running all over the place trying to find individual mobs across a large area of the map. Now these mobs are located along the shore with water in between them, which could be a right pain in the ass at the start of an expansion, usually without flying. But with dragon flying, this is not really an issue, just use your drake to get around. I did find I was waiting around for respawns on this farm if you only wanted to farm the salamanders but there are some drakes a little to the south that can be skinned that you could also farm if you wanted to be more efficient with your time. Good luck on the farming and see you in the next video guys.